If you're one of those camera guys that doesn't drive yet and you have to carry all of your gear whenever you get a job, then good news, person. I have found a backpack that will let you take all of your gear everywhere comfortably and it won't try to kill your shoulders and your spine after 30 minutes of hiking. So, behold. My backpack. It's called the Elements Backpack. It's from a company in Germany called Compagnon. I've been testing it for the last three weeks in every situation. So travel, office, filming, photography, hiking, you name it. I even overpacked it with gear and then hiked 45 minutes straight to a castle just outside of Vienna and then awkwardly discovering that there was a bus route after all, but Okay, first and foremost thing that was most important to me was the roll top. I absolutely hated it when I had to go out for a job, I would pack my bag full of gear and suddenly I would have no room left at all for clothes whatsoever. So I couldn't even take my jacket off if it got too warm. I couldn't put one on if it got too cold. It was just how you go outside is how you are dressed for the day. And that's the end of it. And now with the roll top, if you open it up at the top, you actually get 12 liters of extra you get 12 liters of extra storage. And I think I still have my gloves from my last hike in there. So with that opening roll top, you get 12 liters of extra storage on top of the 30 liters down here for all of your gear. For me, that alone is a game changer. It might not be such a big deal for you if you are driving your car to all of your locations so you have all that extra storage. It matters to me though because I'm hiking to and from all of my shooting locations with a bit of public transport in between. So the backpack is always on my back. So it has to be comfy. Speaking of comfy, let's get into the ergonomics. So another big important thing for me with backpacks is big hip belts. This really, really helps to take a lot of the weight off your shoulders so that you're not sweating half to death by the time you arrive to the location to meet your client. Like I said earlier, I've managed to hang around with this thing overpacked with gear for a decent amount of time. And even after I arrived at the location, I still felt like I could keep going. I wasn't tired at all during the hike. I didn't feel like I needed to stop for a break either. I really could have honestly kept going if the distance wasn't so short, but I arrived at location, so I didn't need to carry on. So there you go. Side pockets, there's two. But wait, there's more. A huge pet peeve of mine in terms of backpacks in the past was that I always had to choose between either taking my gimbal or the drone. What does this have to do with side pockets, you might ask? Side pockets on camera backpacks, in my experience at least, are usually always garbage. They're either too short or they are too frail. And after you've used them for a little bit, they start wearing out and getting holes in them. They're just useless. So that one little space that's in your backpack that might fit your drone or your gimbal, you had to choose between the two. You could never choose both. And on top of that, if you were to put a gimbal on the side pocket normally, you would risk it falling out. But what's this on the side of the backpack, you might ask? Well, guess what? It's a gimbal. This backpack has an extended pocket on this side, so it holds onto the gimbal very, very well. And on top of that, there is a strap up here and also a strap down here so that your gimbal is not going anywhere from the backpack. And that's nice. There is also another side pocket on the other side, which has a shorter pocket, but I use this for my tripods. And to be honest, it works just fine. It's it's a pocket, it holds a tripod, there's nothing too special about it. There is also this little side pocket here, which is meant to be for quick access into the bag so you can pull out your camera. But if I'm being honest, I'm not using this myself, I have another solution for it. I'm actually using the Peak Designs capture clip for quick access to my camera, but we'll go more into detail about this clip in another video. If you are going to use this clip, just be aware of something. There is actually a third clip which hooks onto the loops of this pocket and then it sits comfortably in the side pocket all hidden. Yes, this is for exactly what you guessed. It's for stopping those weirdos that you see on the subway that give you a funny look when they see you got a camera backpack and then they get funny ideas of stealing your camera out of this backpack. But this just makes it a little bit harder for them. But what's inside the backpack you might ask? Well, I'm very glad you did ask. So there is actually more space in this backpack than I can even use for gear right now. And that's because I'm only getting the stuff that I really, really need for my work. I'm not getting the stuff that's, you know, nice to have. I always get the need to have. It's got a compartment for a 16 inch MacBook Pro or laptop. There are also these Velcro compartments, which you can use for filters and SD cards and stuff like this. And because they're attached with Velcro, you can stick them wherever you want. I'm not really moving them around, to be honest. I just put them exactly 
exactly where they were when the bag arrived. But for this top one, if your filters are small enough, you can actually fit your drone filters inside of it. Right now I'm only using an ND16 filter. This isn't the ND16 filter, the filter's actually still on my drone. But if you have a variable aperture drone, then ND16 is all you need. We'll go more into that as well, but again, another video. You can also very comfortably fit a Mavic 3 drone where the roll top starts, so that's also really, really nice. I'm not gonna take the whole thing out, but all the compartments, are actually removable with Velcro, so if you one day decide you want to turn this into a 400 euro lunchbox, then yeah, you can do that. I'm not sure why you would, but you can do it. Now you might be asking, but Alex, what's it made of? It's X-Pack. So the material X-Pack is actually used mostly on race sailing boats, probably a bit overkill for the kind of person that's, you know, just driving to location all the time, or they're just casually photographing their city, you know, once in a while in the evening. But again, important to me because I'm using this in all weather conditions, so I need something that's beefy, sturdy, waterproof, and holds up to all the weather conditions, because as you probably guessed, I'm going out into extreme snow even, so we don't shy away from that here. <laughs> All right, front pockets, there's three of them. And to be honest, I only discovered the third one just two days ago. We have this one at the top here, which is also from Velcro. It's not too deep, like I can just fit my hand in there. And to be honest, I'm not using this one at all. I imagine you would use this if you just want to drop a filter or SD cards in there very quickly and you don't want to open up the whole thing, but yeah, I'm not using it yet. There is also a very, very nice one here that zips open and it kind of like just stands on its own like that when, you, when it folds open, but it doesn't go all the way down. So very, very nice for, you know, stuff like pens, you know, phone chargers. But I'm using this mostly for just the smaller stuff, you know, like SD card holders, filters, anything you would need to make your day of filming a lot easier, but I don't want to go in through the whole backpack every time I want one of these things. So yeah, it's more like just for the things that I want to get to really, really quick. And finally, the last pocket is actually in between the bottom here. Now, Compagnon say that this bag is waterproof enough, but in the event that you are in more extreme situations, like you're caught in a thunderstorm, in this pocket, they give you this uh, big bag cover that you can basically put all over the whole backpack. If you ever had lower pro bags, you'll probably know exactly the idea behind this. And you know, the backpack will hold up to, you know, regular rain well enough, but for more extreme situations, you kind of want to use this just to be sure that no rain is getting into your gear. So very nice little touch from Compagnon there. Okay, I would like to answer the question of who this backpack is actually for. And the answer honestly is definitely not the casual photographer. I mean, this is still a 400 euro backpack and that's an insane price for a backpack. Every backpack I had before this one cost like what, between 50 to 100 euros and even then it was just bit of a struggle for me to pay over 100 euros for a backpack. So if you are one of those casual photographers or you have a car that you can drive around to all of your photography or filming locations, this probably isn't for you considering ergonomics are probably not that important for you. But on the other hand, if you are a bit more serious or you tend to go hiking in mountains and stuff like that with your gear, and you'll be carrying it for a very long time, then yeah, maybe this is for you because you can really hike with this thing for hours and hours and it doesn't tire you out after 30 minutes, which is quite nice. But still, it's a 400 euro backpack. But if you're like me and you're one of those guys that's hiking to every single location to go shoot and they use public transport in between, and therefore the backpack is on your back for many, 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 many hours on end. Especially if you're taking all of your camera with you because you looked out the window and you saw a very, very nice sunset, so you have to capture it with every tiny piece of gear that you own, then yeah, this is definitely for you. Overall, I'm super, super happy with this thing, and I hate that I sound like a Compagnon sales rep that's, you know, trying to be a bit funny with his review and everything, because 
They didn't send me this backpack. I wasn't asked to review it. I don't have an influencer deal with them, nothing. I just bought the thing with my own money. And even if, I knew that was gonna happen. And even if I was asked by the company to review it or they sent it to me for review or whatever, the review would be exactly the same. You know, it's an incredible backpack. You do really, really get what you pay for, in my opinion. I mean, I never had a backpack that was as sturdy as this thing and as comfortable to wear at the same time. And it takes every piece of gear that I have with ease that I don't have to choose between things anymore. It's an incredible backpack and it's honestly made creating fun again. So I really don't think I'm going to need another backpack for the next few years to come, maybe even longer. I hope longer, because again, 400 euro backpack, but let's see, time will tell. So thank you very much for watching. If you're still here, I'm Alexander Palace and I'll see you in the next one.